Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And this morning I have a small Amazon haul for you. Um, these are, these are all color by number books. And they're ones that I got to complete my sets. Each, each one of these books is uh, I have the first book in the series, or one of the books in the series, and I'm almost finished it. So I went and picked up the other books in the series so that I can continue on with them. I'm enjoying all of these books very much. So I will put the box out of the way, and we will start with the first book. So, the first book belongs to the series Brilliantly Vivid Color by Numbers, and it is by F. Sen Senaz. F. Senaz Back. And, um, she or he is a, um, rock painting artist. And these are all, uh, pictures done in their style. So the book that I have is called, uh, I believe it's just called Animals, Animal Friends, and I'm about three quarters of the way through it. So this next book is Flowers and Mandalas, and the front and the inside covers have pictures of them finished. They also show a couple of pictures colored in. This is an example of a page in here. I think they do four. And the backs of them are um, all pastel shades, which I, I think is quite unique in this series. I like the colored background. Then if you're using alcohol inks and they bleed through, it kind of kind of makes it just look nice that it's, you know, like because it's usually the reverse image of what you did on the front. And it's got the yellow background, or the pastel background. Yeah, so these are some examples. So this is going to be a lot of fun to do. And then the next book I got is the last book in the series. And it is called Birds and Butterflies. And again, we have, uh, oh, there's going to be some nice ones in here. So yeah, let's turn to the section that shows us what some are colored. Oh, and these books have the color key here, which is kind of annoying. But what I did with the first book was I um, used my uh, X-Acto knife and cut this page out and carried it with me. Now let's just see if each book has the same color palette. Yes, they are. So it's the same color palette for all three books. Okay, so yeah, so it's set up exactly the same way. The all the pages are perforated, so you can uh, frame these ones that are already done if that's your style. Oh, I love that. I love Owl so much. And he doesn't have any ears. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, that's good. These are going to be nice like those very much. <laughs> okay, so the next series is by Brain Games, and they're, all the books in this series are simply called Color by Number, Stress-Free Coloring. I, each book is distinguished by the color of this banner, and that's what they're called when you buy them. This is the green book. I have the pink book, which I have already completed, and on this channel a little while ago there is a flip through of the completed book. So the pink book I finished and I've got the green and I also bought the yellow and that's all that's in this series. Now this one has some of the images on the front and the back and then it has all of them colored in here. And there is no theme to these books. They're anything. 
and each page has its very own color palette. It doesn't use the same colors. They're just completely different. And they range from very simple like this to quite intricate. And um, that made me, when I got the first book, that made me not quite I was, I felt, actually I felt a little disappointed because it wasn't exactly what I was expecting. I was expecting something more detailed like they show on the covers of these books. And uh, finding things like this and it kind of like, uh, but I had a lot of fun in the other book coloring, going from simple to, to complicated and, you know, back and forth and all over the place. And these ones look really cool. And as you can see on some of them, a few spots are colored in. Not all of them. Though so far, see they, they, these are really tiny. So far all of them are in this one. Yeah, it looks like they all, oh no, no, well that's got, that's cool. Yeah, it looks like they all are. In the pink book, they are not, they do not all have a little bit of something colored in. This one does on every page. And then the other book in the series is the yellow book. And again, it's got some of the pictures on the inside covers, and it's got all of them done at the back. So, yeah, okay, so they don't all have a little bit of something colored in. This is really cool, I like that. Oh, that is awesome too. Okay, so these are going to be fun. So that is the Color by Number series by Brain Games. There are three books in that set. And by the way, I bought all of these books off of Amazon.ca, but I will link to I will link to the uh, I will put an Amazon link down below to the books on. Um, uh, Amazon Canada, US, and UK down below so that you can uh, check them out for yourself. Okay, so the next book is part of a series that only has two books, and that is called Colortronic. Now, I have the first book in this series, which is simply Colortronic, and I have uh, two pictures left to color in it, and then I'll be finished. So then I will start working on this one. The first one just has a bunch of everything, including animals, buildings, statues, all sorts of things. This one obviously is dedicated to animals, and they have great big large uh, drawings. The lines are quite faint, as are the numbers, um, dark enough to see easily enough, but um, that a lot of them do get covered up. And as you can see, your pictures are not going to be realistic. Everything in this book is wild, and um, if you're familiar with the expression fauvism, fo <laughs> it's lost uh, it's gone from my mind. I'm pretty sure it's fauvism. Yeah, well, that's when things are the, are the wrong colors. So, yeah, so there's two pages. Oh, there was a panda in the other one, but it was different than that. Yeah, see, there was a lion in the other one, but it was straight-on picture. Hmm, yeah, these are going to be really good. So, there we go. That's a two-book series called Colortronic. And then the last one that I got is a five book series, and I have one book. So, the books that I got are from the series Corkles by Thomas Pavitt. And um, I've found out that the uh, North American and the UK editions are different. Um, one of the books I have here is the UK one, so we'll be able to have a look at it. One of the um, awesome features of the uh, American ones is that in the middle there is a poster-sized one. And on here you can get a good look at what this book is like. It's just a whole bunch of circles. 
you pick your own colors. They're numbered from 1 to 5, and you pick your colors from dark to light. And then 5 is dark, 1 is light, and you color in the circles and you end up with uh, an image appearing. So the one that I have is Kirkle's Icons. I think I have, um, I'm past the poster so I am more than halfway done in that one. Uh, I think I'm probably going to uh, make that my book that I'm going to finish next month. I'm going to try and finish a book every month. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's all I have to say. So uh, first of all, the um, American editions here. I have icons. I bought animals, cats, masterpieces, this one is uh, works of art. Oh, one thing I didn't show you was at the back, it has them done for you. It shows you what they are, but they're done in uh, grayscale at the back. So that, it's like that on the back of all of them. And again, the, the uh, American editions have the poster in the middle. Now, the last one that I got it's really quirky. I was quite amazed to see that they actually had a book of this topic. But it is Wallace and Gromit. And I just absolutely loved that cartoon. I think it was my, um, oh, I can't remember which of my children it was that watched it. But anyways, and I also remember watching the movie about the werewolf. So, yeah, it, uh, I don't remember too much about it, but I do remember liking it. And while I do this one, I will probably watch some of the cartoons to, uh, help me appreciate the book more. Now, the first thing you notice with the British edition is that they are humongous. It is, as I put it this way, you can see even more. Like, these books are big. Nine, 19, okay, 19 by 14, so that would be, uh, about nine and a half. Nine and a half. Nine and a half by 14. And this one doesn't say what size it is, but, I mean, look at it. It's wider by an, an inch and a half, and it's taller by, is that more than two inches? Yeah, it's taller by two inches. So that's the first thing you notice. So that's great. The other thing is that the British editions do not have a poster in the middle. And I know that because um, Zoe, um, Zoe Archer, she finished the Icon one that I have. And it didn't have a poster in it. And neither does this. So, um, these are quite big. And it's going to be pretty interesting to see how the um, colored editions, or, or the colored pictures are going to turn out when you do them in, when you do them in, in your shades. I wonder if it shows one at the beginning. Oh my goodness, this is the, this will be the biggest book I've worked in. I do have about three other gigantic books, but. So, oh yeah, there we go. It shows us one here. Can you see that? That is, um, I don't even know which is which. I'm assuming that Gromit is the dog. Yeah, but anyways, that's a picture of him and he's done in green and yellows and black. That's cool. This is going to be tough to pick colors so that they look nice. Oh, look at this. Is that all the pages like that? Oh, no. Okay. Just that. And then, um, yeah, it's, it's exactly the same. And you can't tell what they are. I think some of these may be landscape, too. But, uh, 
Oh, I can tell right away that's Sean the Sheep. And I absolutely love Sean the Sheep. That's one of my favorite shows, too. Okay. So, that is it. Those are the books I got to add to my collection. And um, I'm really looking forward here. Let's put something here while... I talk. I'm really looking forward to working in them. One thing that I've decided uh, is that I'm going, when I buy new books, I'm going to be buying for the collection. So I'm not going to just pick up books at the dollar store because they're cheap. And I'm not going to just order books off of Amazon or Book Outlet or whatever because it looks good. I'm going to do research on it and make sure it's a book that I want to add. And because I got rid of so many when I did my when I did my collection and purge, if you if you'll watch that. That was my first coloring uh my first coloring video a few months back now. And um yeah, so um I've already got uh favorite illustrators and series that I like and stuff so I want to add to them and, and complete the series and um, yeah I want to put my money into garnering a good a nice collection coloring book collection that will be nice to look at as well as to work in because I mean obviously when you're a person who has a, a large coloring book collection um, you know very well you're not going to color them all so why do you have them you have them to be a part of your collection and if you are like me sometimes you just like to leaf through uh, a coloring book even if it's never had even if you haven't colored in it because you like the art and um or you just like to look through it, you don't feel like coloring, or you know, you're not watching TV, you just want a few moments by yourself, so you pick up one of your, one of your books, coloring books from your collection, and you, um, browse through it, and you just start thinking of color palettes, and, you know, whatever. It's fun to have a collection, and it has its uses as well as just coloring in the books. But anyways, that's what I've decided to do, and, um, since since my um, collection video wasn't quite uh, this is my collection of books we did a I did a purge of them all on camera with you to show you the process I went through as I got rid of a bunch of them <laughs> that I had I um, next year I will do a you know either at Christmas or in January of next year I'll do a complete collection because it'll all be books that I'm keeping and and not getting rid of uh so anyways I've talked long enough and uh thank you for if you've stayed with me through all this uh so uh if you've just joined me and you don't subscribe to me hit, hit that button ring the bell and you will be able to join my further adventures. If you're already a subscriber, then I thank you so much for allowing me into your life. And um, if you wouldn't mind, click that like button as it will help out my channel. Channel, And don't forget to look below for the links. I'm an Amazon affiliate and I receive um, a few pennies when you purchase something. So, in the meantime, until next time, bye-bye.